Have you ever felt drained like a car running on empty? That's emotional burnout. Characterized by emotional, mental, and physical exhaustion due to prolonged stress, it comes from being overworked and underappreciated. But fear not, because recognizing its signs is the first step towards prevention and recovery. Join us as we delve into understanding emotional burnout. Emotional burnout represents a state of chronic emotional and physical exhaustion, more than just a fleeting feeling of tiredness or sadness. It's akin to hitting a wall after enduring prolonged stress, characterized by a deep sense of cynicism and detachment. It can affect anyone regardless of their profession, age, or lifestyle, and is not a sign of weakness but a response consistent stress. This silent epidemic often creeps into our lives without clear signs, indicating a need for change. The first step is understanding it, and the game changer is prevention. It an essential aspect of our mental health to address. Why do we experience emotional burnout? Picture a candle burning at both ends, its light fading. The wick symbolizes our mental resilience, the wax our emotional energy, and the flames. They represent the stressors we encounter daily. Chronic stress, often a result of high-pressure environments, acts as a slow-burning flame, depleting our resources. Lack of work-life balance can exacerbate this, providing constant fuel to the flame, not leaving any time for us to recover. Personal issues, too, quietly intensify the fire. It's usually a combination of these elements that leads to emotional burnout. How do we identify the onset of burnout? What red flags should we be of? Let's explore this together. The earliest of emotional burnout often manifests physically, with persistent fatigue being the most common. You might feel drained, even after a good night's sleep. It's not your typical tiredness that can be cured by a cup of coffee. It's a deep-seated exhaustion that infiltrates every aspect of your life. Disturbed sleep patterns and reduced appetite often accompany this fatigue, which can significantly impact your health. Emotionally, feelings of despair, helplessness, and a decrease in productivity at work are classic indicators of the impact of emotional burnout is far-reaching, touching not only your mental and physical health, but also your personal relationships and professional life. It slyly erodes the quality of life. But there's but, there's hope. Recognizing these is the first stride towards combating emotional burnout. If you see any of these signs within yourself, it's time to pause, reflect, and seek assistance. Remember, you're not battling this alone. Now let's quickly transition into the solutions. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and a consistent sleep schedule are some of the positive changes you can make to fight fight burnout. These practices can help you recuperate emotional burnout and enhance your overall well-being. So, it's crucial to look out for the signs, but equally important is understanding how, how to combat emotional burnout. So, we've journeyed through understanding the concept of emotional burnout, its causes, symptoms, and effects. We've unpacked the deceptive nature of emotions, how their sly manipulations can direct us, direct us towards procrastination, continuous worry, and anxiety. We've also discovered that we often condition ourselves to view certain emotions as unbearable, pushing us to the brink of emotional burnout, a serious situation that can significantly affect our lives. Delve deeper into recognizing the early signs of emotional burnout and focus more on prevention and recovery strategies. Firstly, it is crucial to understand our emotional limits, respect them, and refrain from pushing ourselves beyond our capacity. Capacity. Prevention starts with self-awareness, knowing when you are reaching the boiling point and then taking active measures to reduce stress. To prevent burnout, try to make time relaxation and rejuvenation. This can include spending quality time with loved ones, indulging in hobbies, or practicing mindfulness techniques. These activities not only ward off the onset of burnout, but also contribute to a wholesome life. Recovery from emotional burnout, on the other hand, involves creating a supportive environment for healing. This includes seeking professional help if needed, incorporating exercise and a healthy diet into your lifestyle, and staying connected with a supportive network of friends and family. Maintaining emotional health is a continual journey filled with challenges, but also with opportunities for growth and self-improvement. A fulfilled life comes not from pushing ourselves to the edge, but from sustaining our emotional health over time. After all, your emotional health is your sanctuary. Take care of it, and it will care of you. Remember, enjoying life to the fullest is the ultimate goal, 
and that comes from a place of emotional well-being. Please subscribe, hit the like button and comment. Also kick the notification button for more videos like this.